Hey guys, Victor Pena here with Omnipray International. In this video, we're going to share with you the main nuggets that it takes to start and scale a business. So stay tuned to the end. We're starting right now. Hey, welcome everybody to another session of Creators One on One. As you guys know, our mission is to create a huge community of entrepreneurs that are winning and dominating with print on demand. Today, I'm super happy to have somebody here for you guys. So make sure that you stay till the end. Super great person, not only hustling as an entrepreneur, but built YouTube channels and following that with a different perspective on what you can do as an entrepreneur and how you can make some money. And he does it free for people. Mm -hmm. So Reyes, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And welcome to Omniprint Creator Studios. Hey man, thank you for having me, bro. I'm, I'm glad we're finally gonna be able to make this happen. Yep, yep. So I've been following Reyes for some time. And actually my wife and I watch some of the videos too. They're super funny and educational at the same time. It's for me, it's super exciting to have you here and actually to share some of the knowledge with our audience. So we'll get right to it, man. Good. I wanna talk a little bit about like, you. you have a lot of skills that you've been attaining for entrepreneurship, right? A ton. You've done drive-alongs with a lot of people and you know how a lot of different businesses work. But a key business that you've been doing is growing your YouTube channels mm -hmm. and your social media channels. Like maybe tell us if you had like two main tips for somebody that is in the t-shirt business, in the game, and what has YouTube done for you? And uh, maybe two tips that can help them grow. YouTube is a great platform for entrepreneurs because as you're building your audience, you're building customers at the same time. So it's beneficial. Mm. And my number one tip is keep it simple. Just take a picture of your work. If you want to go on YouTube, a quick 30 second video. A lot of people feel, oh, we need high production yep. or high quality. You don't. Get your phone. Be like, hey, what's up, everybody? This is what I made. How I made it. Post a video. Boom. That's how you should start. And the second thing is be optimistic. You might not get the results you want right away. You might upload a video and maybe you're gonna get three, four views. One of them is gonna be your grandma, <laughs> but don't worry about the views, worry about building something. And hopefully you enjoy it. Those are my two tips right there. Start uh -huh. simple and just stay positive and just keep uploading. Man, that's like great advice because especially for me, I tend to want everything to be like production quality and all that, but we didn't really start like that either. It was like, let's just shoot whatever we can, when we can, and whatever quality. You can get better over time, but the number one tip, guys, is just to start. Look, there's a quote out there. I don't know if you've heard it. You don't got to be perfect to get started, but you got to get started to be perfect. Ooh. Boom. All right, guys, that's enough for yeah, me. Right that's now. it. Drop the mic. <laughs> if the mic wasn't hanging up there, we'd be dropping it. Yeah, right now, yeah, guys. yeah. No, that, dude, that, that's amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. That was like, get, get started, guys, and have fun. And uh, it's a great thing. A lot of people just don't do it for hesitation that someone's going to judge you, Bro, you know? I get those messages, oh, Rage, you're fat. Rage, your glasses <laughs> are too small. Rage, get a haircut. But here's the thing, man. <laughs> First of all, People who are hating on you like that, they're trying to make themselves feel better. Right. They have some insecurities and they're trying to bring people down. Yep. But secondly, you can't make everybody happy. Nope. As long as you're enjoying what you do and you bring some type of value to people, you're going to grow. And another thing, for example, I upload videos. Nine out of 10 comments, super positive. I get that one hater though, you know? Yeah, but Love I, the haters. But... People tend to focus on that one hater instead of focusing on the nine people showing you love and support. Yeah. Focus on those nine people, guys. Focus on the positive people. You're always going to have haters. I have it all the time. We work super hard to create this kind of content and you're still going to have people are like hating about it because it's free. Yeah, it's free for you guys. I want you guys to become winners. So make sure that you are following Omniprint. You're subscribed. You like the stuff comment make sure you follow reyes where can people follow you reyes reyes entrepreneur youtube facebook instagram i just started a tiktok 
Yeah. Shoot, even hit me up on MySpace, bro. <laughs> I still got that. <laughs> yeah, MySpace. I don't think I have that one. <laughs> The Direct Treater Dual is the brand new pre-treatment machine by Omniprint International Inc. This pre-treatment machine is the first ever unveiled by Omniprint and is designed to provide versatility between pre-treatment system types. By tradition, pre-treatment machines were limited to being designated as either a closed or open top system. With the Direct Treater Dual, the user can choose between one or the other instead of being limited to one type. This empowers the user to take on a pre-treatment job of any size, whether an a la carte job using the closed drawer system or bulk jobs using the removable side-loading platen and foot pedal to allow stacking and hands-free production style pre-treating. In addition to its versatility, the Direct Treater Dual features a bottle reservoir system, allowing you to easily switch pre-treatment solutions, clean the lines, and purge into the waste bottle with minimal messes. The diaphragm pump and pre-treatment delivery system allows for quiet, consistent spray patterns while regulating air pressure and preventing gaps in the line. The Direct Treater Dual has transformed and simplified the pre-treatment process by giving an all-in-one versatile solution with the required consistent results for DTG print shops of all sizes to thrive. The Direct Treater Dual Pre-Treatment Machine by Omniprint International Inc. You got into t-shirts before, so I want to move it to num number two, right? Go. You got into t-shirt before. You actually experimented with a lot of different businesses. So maybe you could tell somebody like your story of how you started this, so people know can get that context of you. And then how come after like going through all of those different businesses, how come you're back to t-shirts? What do you like about it? And then all that, you know? So for people that don't know my backstory, yeah. Yeah. pretty much. Regular, I'm from Mexicali, Mexico. Mm -hmm. Came over here when I was nine. Didn't know a lick of English. Yep. I tried my best. But when I was 18, I had a choice. Go to college or follow my passion of entrepreneurship. Yep. I went to college. But three years later, I was like, it's not for me. Let me try entrepreneurship. And that's when I originally started t-shirts. I went into it. And I'll be honest, man. I didn't have internet. I didn't have a mentor. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, man, I really didn't know what I was doing in the t-shirts and in business, but I gave it my best shot. Yeah. And then at one point I was able to make it into my full-time income, but with t-shirts, screen printing, vinyl, you're putting in those hours. Yeah. I was busting 12, 14 days, hour days, six days a week. And I was like, I need a break. But what's my next thing? And that's when I focused into YouTube. So I started growing YouTube, grew it to about 415,000 subscribers right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. But now I'm like, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting that itch to go back into t-shirts. Yep. But I'm like, I have to do it right this time. And I have to scale it. No more at home type of thing. What can I do to grow it? And that's what I'm doing right now. And I want to grow it as big as possible. That's awesome. So the story is important like from going and seeing other different businesses that people do for example when i'm looking at that i see what goes into somebody's daily work and it's a hustle it's a grind a lot of people think entrepreneurship is easy yeah. or that oh you just tell people what to do no that's the easy part yeah. but what they don't see waking up early what they don't see is the headaches the emails from companies customers yeah and a lot of people think they're going to start making money. A lot of times, man, businesses, they're not profitable when they first start. Nope. And they just got to grind to hit that point. Yep. And I feel like a lot of people, and the hardest part is, a lot of people fail because they don't stick with it. Unfortunately, hey, I used to be like that. Where I didn't get results in the first month, three months, and I was like, nah, it's not for me. But one thing I found out, you stick with anything long enough, you're going to be successful. Yep. And that's how I grew my YouTube channel. I've been doing it for about six years now. The first two and a half years, I wasn't making any money. But I love teaching people. And I'm like, I'm going to tough it out as long as it takes. And then one video took off, changed my life. I've been doing it full time, making six figures a year for the last three years. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Off of YouTube. And it, it's important you talk about failure, right? Because some of your videos... You actually 
end up do- not making any money. Bro, sometimes right? I lose money. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I don't even want to post this. People are going to talk, you know. <laughs> but, but here's the thing about me. Yeah. I feel people learn more to watching somebody else's failures so they could know what to avoid. Yeah. Because when you see successful people, all right, it's the same formula. They worked hard. So they stuck with it. But the failures is where you really learn. Oh, I shouldn't do that because Ray has failed at this. Oh, Ray has tried this and that. It didn't work for him. Let me see what I could do to switch it up. That's why I feel people. Yeah, are. so if, you're, if your passion is to grow and, and your goal is big enough, you're going to really go through and pass those failures. So a lot of people think that when you made it, like all they look at is the successes, right? Mm-hmm. So all of the pain in between and actually all the losses in between, nobody really looks at. But mm-hmm. it's being an entrepreneur, guys, is mostly losses, right? Yeah. Mostly losses, mostly failures. The main difference is you have to stick with it and you have to keep going and growing. Here's another thing, man. We're talking about failures. Nobody likes to fail. No. Nope. But you have to change your mindset where each failure is the new lesson you learn. Yeah. Because when I first started, I didn't know anything. I fell and I fell. Those were building blocks. I fell, I got experience now. I failed again, all right, I'm better now than last time. And I just kept going like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, so that's important. So now when you're creating something, you say, you know what, you're, I want to get back into t-shirts and I want to do it right. And you're doing what it takes now to do it professionally, to do it right and educating yourself more on what's which niches what's the best way to go for your audience but if you wouldn't have done what you did before had your failures you wouldn't know exactly if i never went out there and actually tried growing something and stuck with it i wouldn't be here right now because you build habits and if you build that habit of quitting constantly, it's okay to try things. Yep. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Yeah. But sooner or later, you have to pick something that you're going to stick with. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So stick with it, guys. It's, it's great advice. And remember to follow Reyes. We're here on a Saturday, right? We shot a lot of cool stuff today for his channel too. You'll see it on our channels. But make sure you go over to his channel because he's going to show you like some of his journey of doing it again and you're gonna learn a lot from there right this is the free jet 330 tx plus the leader in award-winning direct-to-garment printers for the first time not only can this dtg printer print on cotton and blend garments but the free jet 330 tx plus can successfully print on 100 percent light and dark polyester a feat that no other dtg printer has accomplished this process is achieved by implementing gamut plus inks These groundbreaking inks play a key role in the printing process, successfully printing full-color, full-detail designs on 100% dark polyester, as well as light poly, dark and light cotton, and blends alike. No other ink on the market achieves this level of vibrancy and print quality like Gamut Plus. As with all of our printers, the FreeJet 330TX Plus is equipped with a bulk ink delivery system, which completely eliminates the need for a cartridge-based system. This allows you to refill your ink bottles as needed without dealing with the clutter and costly inefficiency associated with ink cartridges. Within the bulk ink delivery system, we have also implemented automatic white ink circulation. This feature directly prevents white ink separation by circulating the white ink throughout the day in between printing, reducing the need to perform multiple head cleans or purges when idle, saving you money on white ink. Setting the print height manually is a thing of the past with the new fully automated print height adjustment. With the touch of two buttons, your printer will automatically set the print height, saving the time and effort involved in manual height adjustment. The cutting edge laser sensors in the gantry ensure your platen never goes too high, drastically reducing the risk of issues involving print height. The wet cap system equipped in the printer prevents the print head from drying or clogging, allowing your printer to remain idle for up to one month without the need for flushes which other printers require on a monthly or quarterly basis. The FreeJet 330TX Plus proudly boasts the lowest production and maintenance costs among the top DTG printers in the industry, ultimately saving you money and maximizing your profits. The FreeJet 330TX Plus, available now from Omniprint International. Call today for a free personalized demo.
array is uh, I want to transition a little bit so that I can give you some value. So a lot of the things that we do in creators one on one sessions is to help others out there and help the guests that are also here. Why? Throughout my 17 years in business, starting this from a one man band to what we have now, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of wins, a lot of failures in between, but then a lot of learning, right? I use mentors still every single day to keep myself growing. What are the things that I can help you with, challenges that you're having that maybe the audience is also having that I can help you with and grow? You know what? One of the things that almost entrepreneurs face is scaling. Yep. How can I grow, make more sales, gain more customers? And that's where I'm at. Because me, I have an office. I got two part-time employees, but... I'm ready to jump into a t-shirt business, really invest money into it, get employees to help me fulfill. Mm -hmm. But I've never done that before. Yeah. And I already know there's going to be headaches, but what kind of headaches can I be expecting when I'm trying to scale, trying to grow into a bigger, hopefully warehouse? Yeah. That's a great question, man. I had to go from being just me to then hiring First, people that you know, you got friends and family, and then you got people. But this is the number one thing that I want you to take away. If there was one thing today that employees and people do not cost you money, right? They make you money because the mindset's super important. We were brought up to save money, every penny, conserve it. We're brought up to pay little for employees or not have them because it's too much money. That's mindset that needs to be change for a lot of people so make sure that you're thinking each person that i get is actually money that i'm going to have coming in it's not money that i'm going to spend for their hours i'm actually going to be able to offload some of that work that's going to be generating income so that's number one number two now it's going to be up to you to start developing systems that people can use to help you generate income because you don't want to get frustrated by somebody not being magical and knowing everything that you know and doing everything that you want them to do without actually putting a process in place that every day, Monday through Friday or Saturday, they know these are my tasks. This is how Reyes likes me to do them. This is how I'm measuring them. This is how they get compensated. This is what's good. This is what's bad. And then once you have that package, it takes a little time. And I grew without doing that. And it was painful. Why? Because you're going to have natural breakpoints in a business, right? At once you get to a million, once you get to three million, once you get to five million, ten million, there's natural breakpoints where like shit gets shaky mm -hmm. because of systems. Mm. If you start doing it ahead of time and grow with it slowly, then it's going to help you. So what does that make you do? It makes you think, all right. It, it makes you understand yourself. What am I selling? How much am I selling it for? How long do I have to produce it to make profit? Right? Budgeting for employees to help you do it. And then you focus on other stuff. You're going to focus on marketing, selling, not being in the back producing. Right? So there's a lot of stuff that starts happening once you fully commit to saying, I'm going to build a big business. My goals and targets are so high. So that's number three. Your targets and your goals need to be so high so that the trials and tribulations of going through it and hiring people actually seem like low problems compared to that big fat goal. Mm -hmm. Remember, my mission is to create millions of creators and entrepreneurs that are winning with print on demand. Millions. So for example, if I have to get a new building and remodel it, if I have to get more employees, some stay, some leave and all that, if I, you know what I mean? So all those challenges in the middle are way less than creating that huge community of millions of people that are winning. So that's how I do it. Okay. Yeah. Hey man, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and, and it makes perfect yeah. sense because I've gone through some stuff before on those little scale. Yep. But thank you, Victor. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So remember guys, the quality of your questions always determine the quality of your results. Mm -hmm. So asking the right questions like Reyes did is always super important. So make sure that if you guys have questions for us, questions for Reyes, even on this channel or his channel, 
hit it on the comments and we'll respond. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. These are Gamut Plus Next Generation Inks by Omniprint International Inc. The new generation of inks scientifically engineered for improved color vibrancy, wash fastness, and print quality on a wide range of substrates, including 100% dark polyester and blends. The Omniprint Chemical Engineering R&D team spent countless hours to formulate this new generation of DTG inks that can be successfully delivered via a digital inkjet print head, while still showcasing the vibrancy and intricate detail required for printing high quality images up to 5760 DPI on a wide variety of garments, including cotton, polyester, and blends. Gamut Plus Next Generation DTG Inks by Omniprint International. So Reyes, you have any other questions that you need for me for, from this creator sessions? Okay, we're talking about scaling. Yes. When do you know it's time to scale? Like I said, I'm in a little three bedroom office, two employees. I can manage everything, but I want to grow, but I don't know if I should wait or jump into it right now. Yeah. You always, you're always better off starting now. Mm. Always. Okay. But this is the thing. You don't want to scale without knowing hundred percent, like what the products are and how you're going to do it. So I would, what I would recommend is saying, you know what, these are going to be my two, three, four product lines. This is how much I'm going to charge for them. This is how much revenue I can make per month, per year. And then use the math back. We're always talking about do the numbers, right? Use the math to say, hey, you know what? My target of income for this business the next year, two, three, five years is X. Mm. How do I work my way backwards? What products? If I'm going to t-shirts, how many shirts do I have to sell a day? Gotcha. So that you can do it successfully. Because I don't really like saying, hey, start, get going, blah, blah, put your foot on the gas without no strategy. I like that, man. So know what you're selling, how much you're going to make, what investment it's going to take mm. to get there, how many people, and the math will tell you. So pretty much reverse engineer it. You already have the goal. Now you got to work your way back. Yep. How are you gonna... See, yep. I wasn't thinking like yep. that. I was thinking, all right, what can I do tomorrow or next month? But you're right. I don't have a clear goal yet. Yep. So I'm going to take some time, really hash out a plan. Oh, another thing was I didn't have a real end goal. Yeah. And I've been realizing, now that you mentioned it, you confirmed it, I need to know, all right, where am I going? Yeah. And how long is it going to take me there? How much money am I going to spend? And, oh, man. Yeah. Because it, it can be like that goal and that mission can be the only thing some days yeah. that helps you get up that day where, mm. where yesterday sucked. Mm -hmm. That big ass goal is the only way that you get up. Mm. Makes sense, man. Yeah. Hey, Victor, that's all the hey. questions I have. Dude, that's awesome. But, Great questions. Oh man, hearing from you where you're at in life with your yeah. success, that means a lot. That's nuggets right there yeah. for me. Super nuggets. And WorkBridge 2020 is the newest automation system released by Omniprint International Inc. as a successor for the previously award-winning Automation Bridge in 2018 and 2019. This new direct-to-garment print automation system from Omniprint showcases an even more optimized scan-of-print process with the speed and simplicity required by most print shops facing high-volume print jobs. WorkBridge 2020 is an upgrade from its predecessor featuring a simpler user interface and a new improved barcode scanner with a label printer for generating automation barcodes on the fly. With a single scan of the barcode, any print job can be instantly queued up with all of the customer's predetermined grip software settings, including the brand garment and type, eliminating print errors, and reducing setup times from minutes to seconds. WorkBridge 2020 by Omniprint International. That's the goal, guys. Uh, different perspective on some questions that are super valuable for all of you guys. So make sure you follow Reyes and make sure that you subscribe again. 
destroy the like buttons wherever we are at because it really helps all the mighty algorithms to show the videos to people that we're doing over here on a Saturday for you guys for free 99. <laughs> Free 99 knowledge, baby. Free 99 knowledge. That's, That's right. what Ray says on his channel. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys on the next Creators Live and the next Creators One on One. Yeah. Everybody have a great day. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>